now and then, okay. but okay. let's go through it. Here's a look this morning on our visibility uh, with the little bit of mist in the air, a touch of fog in spots. Now, the, it has improved a little bit for officially at the International Airport at six miles. We're at six at Lunkin, here at the station, six miles, Wilmington, eight miles. So we don't have crystal clear skies. There is some of the low moisture lingering. Uh, we have a high dew point this morning matching that air temperature. So we will see a little bit of fog, a little bit of mist. Use some caution if you run into it. You may get a little bit of freezing fog on some of the roadways. And probably not completely clean for those that had the snow. Uh, maybe a little bit of uh, some isolated issues. But overall, a lot of improvement this morning compared to yesterday morning. Quiet conditions on the WLWT radar. Satellite and radar combined showing the skies clearing out yesterday. We've been clear through the overnight. Nothing to arrive today. So we're looking at a mostly sunny day expected. Now with the skies clearing and the winds weakening, temperatures have plummeted into the single digits and low teens. Locations that have snow, especially our eastern counties, with the light winds, Hillsborough is at 7. Peebles has dropped off to 4 degrees this morning. We're at 9 in Harrison and 6 in Batavia. So that snow covered ground helping those temperatures drop even lower in spots. VD Indiana at 9 degrees. So some cold spots out there for air temperatures. Locations may have a little bit of a wind chill at times. In general, though, the winds are pretty light. Our city cam shot giving us a look at not quite the crystal clear skies out there. Some of that low fog, kind of a little bit, it's not haze, but it kind of looks like that on the city cam shot. We have the visibility right now six to seven miles, a south wind at three, the air temperature 11, and that's what it feels like with the wind chill at 11 degrees. Temperatures have been dropping through the night. We started late last evening in the upper teens, falling at 14 degrees for a couple of hours. Now we've dropped off to 11. Still the potential through about 8 or 8.30 this morning to drop that temperature a few more degrees for a morning low temperature potentially in the single digits. Satellite and radar showing the quiet conditions. High pressure overhead today will keep out that sunshine. And tomorrow as it tries to slide out or does slide out and approaching low pressure and cold front coming out of the plains, it'll increase our clouds during the day Monday. And by late Monday evening, we're talking some rain showers and maybe just a couple of flakes behind it on Tuesday. We top out today at 35 degrees. Tonight we're dropping off to 22, so not as cold for the overnight tonight. Tomorrow afternoon, increasing our clouds late. We'll top out at 40, doing pretty well ahead of that front, and not too much of a drop off behind it. A couple of flurries around Tuesday at 38. The coldest day looks like Wednesday. Then, when as we come out of it, temperatures climbing through the 40s, plenty of sunshine that lasts into next weekend.